Hey there everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome back to more Horizon Zero Dawn. So, between last episode and this one, I went and got myself some coffee, I stretched my legs, and now we are continuing with our exploration of the Grave Horde. Uh, it looks like we have a couple more rooms in here, maybe? Like here, here, here. This seems like it's going to be a combat room. I just got a feeling. Maybe a Deathbringer. But let's see what we can uh, find here. Oh, we have more holograms. Interesting. What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? The planet. Our world. The planet Earth, Eloy. It's not flat like you thought. <laughs> Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. It looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. Or it looked like this were spraying then. across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? Did they blot out the sun like in the Matrix? That was to stop the power source for those machines. All right. December 2065, week one, confidential. Operation Kickback. Reno, Nevada. Civilian Guard and Armor Battalion skirmish with Vanguard elements of Pacific Northwest Swarm, PN-12. Engagement began at 0600 and concluded with a, a withdrawal at 2100 the following day. Losses in excess of 40%. Operation Thick Skull. Shenandoah Valley, uh, Virginia. 12th MRB, supported by civilian guard, fought a rear guard action against the Eastern Seaboard Swarm ES-17. Engagement began at 0800. At approximately 1400, 12th MRB reported the position was overrun and received authorization to detonate SA Tech facility, inflicting significant damage to ES-17. Surviving elements of 12th MRB withdrawn to Akron Cleveland defensive line. Operation Body Blow, Akron, Ohio, 9th and 10th MRBs, supported by sustained aerial strikes, assaulted the Horus class Titan resupplying the Eastern Seaboard Swarm ES 18. Engagement began at 0400 and concluded at 2200 with the elimination of the Titan. Note that this is the 9th MRB's third Titan kill with minimal losses. Brigade readiness status, the 3rd MRB, refused recall order from Operation Pinch Hit, deployment along Pensacola, Tallahassee defensive line. Court martial proceedings are underway. 7th MRB, recalled, recalled from New York engagement zone to reinforce Wichita Theater, ready. 9th MRB, refitting at USRC facility, ready. 10th MRB, transferred from Kelmar, data corrupted. Alright, so they have been able to take down some of the Titans, and from what I understand is the Horus class Titans build more robots, but I it doesn't say anything about them building other Horus class Titans. So my thought is what they were thinking is if we kill all the Horus class Titans, then we just have to kill all the little robots and everything is okay. But sounds like numbers just got out of control. That's where we came from. All right, so we're going this way. Splish, splash. Surely there's something in here, right? Nope, just a ice room. Just an ice room.
another just ice room. More mushrooms. Yeah, the fact that it's giving me... It's like, here, take all of this healing stuff. Take all this stuff to make more ammunition. Trust me, you're kind of going to need it. <laughs> That's what it's saying to me here. Are they trying to bring a Horus back online? The Eclipse. Tampering with a metal devil. But they don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! Well, that's not good. That's, I was correct. This is a boss area. The other one wasn't too tough, but this one moves. All right, so let's, uh, crafting ammo. The big explosive. That's fine. Alright, um, how do we want to have ourselves equipped? Uh, Blast Sling, Shadow Sling, Weakness to Fire and Shock. Alright. So blast, terror blast. I think instead of this, we want to go with this one. It does more shock damage. Uh, we'll, uh, I guess we'll keep it as is. Skip. Another Kobish, and this one can move. So that, that thing is going to see me immediately. Alright. That thing is going to see me like no matter what I do. So uh, best to just get down to its level to begin with. I was wondering if I could snipe out some of the other dudes. Set them on fire. Do some damage that way. Same and the trail. I'll have to be really quick about it. And still jump down super fast. Another Kobish. And this one can move. I 
think I'll still try it. No, no, no. Get out of the corner. Let's shock this sucker. Don't die right now. Alright. 
Okay, down you go. We had to fight hundreds of those all at once. Yeah. They would have had guns at least. They had to fight hundreds of those all at once. That's these will keep. You can understand why it was a losing war. Queuing up. Is that everything? Oh, we got a couple more. And we are completely full. All right. That was a Horus. And it was just making these things one after another. Oof. A tear coil. Hang on a second. Some of those looked pretty good. Modify. Where's my tear coil? Where? Where you at? There you are. 38 tear. 38, 13, 49, 25. Corruption doesn't really matter. Thirty-nine tear. Forty-four tear. Fifteen shock. Uh, all right. all right. Give me what you got. So we came in up there. That's just a door of some sort. Cultist. Supply crate. Supply crate. I'm just making sure uh, I'm not missing any. One of the supplies we can use. Um, but I'm making sure we're not missing any. Uh, like logs or anything. Don't want to miss out on story at this point, considering, I mean, that's a Horus that breached into the mountain, which ain't good. That's not the only Horus in the area, because there's that one that, that, uh, is right above mother's heart. Now what is it that they they said that mother mother's heart or mother nature defeated the metal devil? How did it do that? I mean, did we do something stupid like set off a volcano or something like turn everything into nuclear winter? I mean, stupid, but uh, maybe necessary. Uh, I guess we have enough. All right. There we go. Alright. Oh, did we miss one? What was this? 
No, we saw that one. Okay. Biosphere degradation. August 2065 Confidential. Chief findings. Despite increased tactical proficiency of elite and civilian guard units and many hard-won engagements in the Central European, Antarctic, and Pacific Reach theaters, the Faro's plagues, uh, the Faro plagues rate of advance has not slowed, nor has its biomass consumption rate. Damage to the biosphere has already exceeded 2038 levels by every measure and grows worth by every day. Extinction timeline remains unchanged with OAC predicted for uh, mid-November 2065, annihilation of exposed human population by February 2066, extinction of macrobiotic land organisms by the end of March 2066, and extinction of marine life in early 2068. So the, the machines would have killed everything living on the planet within three years. Continued secrecy about Project Zero Dawn. The utter silence regarding its mechanisms of action and completion date make it impossible to predict Zero Dawn's impact or lack of impact on the extinction timer. Atmospheric collapse. Atmospheric oxygen depletion and toxic emission remain the greatest environmental threat to Operation Enduring Victory, as well as the wider civilization, uh, civilian population and animal life. Operational, uh, operational Atmospheric Collapse, OAC, is currently predicted for mid-November uh, 2065, after which military personnel will require rebreathing apparatus to operate in the open, and civilians will only be able to survive inside sealed structures. The requirements for air scrubbing and recycling in facilities is addressed in Addendum A. So I'm assuming that's because of all the plants that are being turned into machines? Because uh, they're no longer producing oxygen? Potable water shortages. Major water treatment facilities are already struggling to process water sources compromised by rainfall, heavily contaminated by toxins emitted by the consumption of the Eastern Hemisphere. Following the necessary shutdown of all nano scrubbing functionality, wastewater recycling is already beyond capacity. Military response escalation. Addenda linked to this document cover the short term effects of scorched earth engagements in defense of the western seaboard and the ongoing effects of the ocean oceanic economic zones use of nuclear weapons to delay the enemy's initial advance across the Pacific theater. Okay, so they're using EMPs to override stuff. They're already nuking things. So we are... The only thing I can think of is like Zero Dawn makes me think of we're not going to have any sunlight. And the only thing I can think of is if like they try to set off like a super volcano like Yellowstone. And just plunge the world into a giant ice age. I mean, but you look at stuff, it's obviously pretty cold. I mean, yes, we're up in the mountains, but this is... salient has collapsed five horus class titans have broken through jeez we predict contact in 34 hours everything is in position general it took a few shortcuts to pull everything together but zero dawn is functionally complete good to go that enduring victory served its purpose after all yes if we'd had even one day less i've sent you an encoded file doctor Please, do me the favor of archiving it. Oh, I'll see what I can do. What is it? A brief statement. An allocution of crimes, I guess you'd call it. To what are you admitting guilt? 
Over the past 16 months, Doctor, I have presided over the greatest wholesale slaughter of military personnel and civilians in the history of... history. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Sorabella. Add them all together. They don't even come close. You didn't do the killing, General. No, not directly. But I didn't wind up the highest-ranked military commander in the United States by resisting the automation of the armed forces. Even before the swarm, Doctor, I was helping death along. So, instead of letting what I've done sink into the murk, forgotten, I sent a file with all the details. Let posterity judge my actions with clear vision. I'll do as you ask, General. But you should consider that... were it not for your actions... our actions... there wouldn't be any posterity to judge us. Perhaps. Dr. Sobek. At ease, General. And goodbye. Hell of a thing. It's weird hearing her voice with her not talking, you know? All right, it's time to learn what Zero Dawn actually is. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to sank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just, I mean, my God. Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on. If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Or... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting through this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... would be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By if giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. It's one of those they had to destroy the planet what in order to this? save it. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? What they had to. <sighs> Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's where we were the That's other the day. News. And the bad? It's directly underneath the citadel. The palace at Sunfall. Oh. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Okay. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Carja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? 
Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right, so is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes, there is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines, but not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. Let's hope it won't come to that again. And why do they need a, an orbital launch facility? Have I seen the moon? <laughs> oh no, it's like I'm trying to come up with like ideas of what the hell's going on, you know? It's like, have I seen the moon since I've been here? Did, did she blow up the moon? Now how am I gonna get down from here? Oh, uh, this should be quite the ride. What's the ride? I mean, okay, we are grabbing onto that. All right. Yeah, that's a hell of a ride. <laughs> hey, Aloy! You're too daring. <laughs> I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. <laughs> She's like, damn, that was fun. So this is definitely a part of the story, but not yet, I guess. So we're going all the way over here now. All right. Yeah, because here's another horse. Here's another horse. This is the one that fell upon the mountain. You can see its arms all stretch out. Here. So there was a horse there. There was a horse up here. Were there any others? So in this small region, region there were two. What could the super weapon have been? My only thought is that they intentionally made like an ice age to... So... I'm thinking maybe they made like an ice age to kill off as much of the plant and animal life as possible. That way there would not be any fuel for the machines but I don't know I mean that's outside of like exploding Yellowstone or doing some I don't know how you would do it cover the world in eternal night you know I am not a, uh, either a Bond supervillain or a this lady, so I have no idea how one would go about such a thing. I just don't know. But I'm loving all the story aspects we're running into now. And obviously, I mean, doing the main story. Line just like bump, 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 bump. Well, we've 
Had all the fun doing basically everything else. Now it's just... Oh, I'm not going to be able to get up there, am I? I'm going to have to go to this one. All right. That's a waste of another fast travel, but there's no way there's no way up that cliff face. I've, I've looked, and there ain't no way to do it. All right, so if we go up this left path, we will find a safe spot, which is probably good because... It doesn't look like there was one between here and our objective, so... Um, come on, friend. Ooh, ooh, over the bridge. Over the bridge. Over the river and through the woods. This path. This isn't much of a path! This is a goat trail. I'm glad I'm on a giant ram. You know what? Let's see if we can't get a, those two fish skins really quick. I know this might be boring, but... Those are like the only two things we need. We get if we get those two fish skins I think we're completely upgraded all of our stuff and I kind of want to do that this is quite a bit of water Scan and stuff over there. Gotta find more fish. There are lots in that one lake, but I don't know if I want to go all the way back to the lake. Save me, please. I, I can raise the sun. My scrap, dude. Sorry. By the sun, victory is ours. How are there no more fish in this damn river? Well, there's that lake. Alright. So, I'm going to go get two fish skins. And then... 
I'll catch up with you guys when I do so. No need for you guys to watch me do the fishing. Okay, so I've been fishing here, and uh, as you can see, the only thing that has taken out more biomass than the machines is me, apparently. As you look around, it's just dead fish everywhere. But I think that one over there actually has a blue, which means it has a fish skin. So I'm going to swim over to that. It is indeed a blue, which means... I will have the two fish skins that I need to get ourselves all finished up. And we can continue on with our mission. Wonderful. We obviously picked up a little bit more meat as well. <laughs> Actually, quite a lot of meat. So, uh... Yeah, the... The, the marine aquatic population in this lake uh, is significantly decreased, shall we say. Alright. Now I'm gonna we'll fast travel back over to where we were. Well, actually, let's make sure we have everything. So, crafting, carrying capacity... Alright, create, no more upgrades, we need a raccoon bone, oh, interesting, well, I think we actually sold those earlier, whoops, alright, well, let's continue on with our mission, I'll and check we will, it out later. yeah, we'll be fine, we'll, uh, we have all the, the the fish skins we need. All we need now are raccoon bones. Maybe we'll find one on the way to our target. So I should have taken a look before I sold everything off. That would have been smart, intelligent. That's why I didn't do it because I'm neither of those. I remember the view from Meridian. Why don't you just go back? It's not very far. Alright, I see a lot of uh, boars. Maybe if we're lucky we can get a raccoon? Rabbit. What are you? Fox, fox, turkey, boar, turkey, watcher, raccoon. Where'd it go? It vanished. All right, up the hill we go. Huh. Boars, turkeys. More turkeys. Raccoon. Aloy, you're very close now. I was wondering where this would go. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close and you'll find hard holes. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? All right. Right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Hey, it is. Focus network, he said. How are we going to do that? Uh... Oh, wait. I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. You're being a little... 
overly critical. I mean, we know how you crash all these things. You just take your MacBook up there and you plug it into the alien spaceship and all's good. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button, and to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. But for now, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day, and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.